welcome back to Humble Homemaking. If you are new here, welcome. I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. So if that's your thing, then hit the subscribe button down below. My name is Chelsea. I am married. I have one son, and I am a homemaker. So. Stop it with the mom humor. Stop it. Mom jokes are bad jokes, okay? They, they're just not funny. There's nothing funny about mom humor. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. You know, the the scary mommy crowd. That type of, you know, those type of accounts. And now remember, if you find these funny and that's just your sense of humor, that's fine. But this is my opinion, which I am allowed to have, and I guess you're allowed to have your opinion about my opinion, so. So it seems like there is a normalization with complaining about children, basically treating them like they are burdens, especially when they're babies and toddlers. Oh, the diapers, the blowouts, the lack of sleep. And then you get to the toddler years and then you hear mom say, oh, they're destroying this and they're destroying that and they won't sit still and terrible twos and tantrums and this and that. Why is it acceptable to complain about motherhood and children? There are a couple of accounts that I've come across where that is the entire entire theme for their account. That is their niche, is making fun of their parenting skills or talking about how annoyed they are with their children, helping them in the kitchen. Moms on the internet seem to eat it up. They seem to love it. They keep coming back to it. They take it all in. They save memes. They share memes. They love it. Being a mom isn't easy. And I'm not saying that challenges don't uh, exist with children. We need to stop with the dramatic memes that are meant to be funny. And we need to embrace the important job that is motherhood. The more that we complain about all of the things that I mentioned and then some, the less we are paying attention to our children. And the less we pay attention to our children, the more we miss out on all of the little things that we should be cherishing right now. How heartbreaking would it be if your children understood that that's how you felt? If they understood that you thought they were a burden and that you couldn't stand them helping you make cookies in the kitchen because they made a mess, that they drove you crazy to the point of you wanting a glass of wine after a long, hard day, you wouldn't want to feel like a burden to somebody that you love. So why is it acceptable for you to do it to your child? I would feel so sad if my husband was like, Ugh, you make me want to drink alcohol at the end of the day. I'd be like, I would feel so unloved and so sad if that's how it was. So it's not acceptable for parents to feel that way about children. Our children depend on us to take care of them and deserve our attention as much as humanly possible. No, they're not purposely having an attitude like you. No, they're not purposely trying to make you angry or give you or put you in a bad mood. Children are a blessing and they deserve to be treated as, as such. After all, they are our future quite literally. So if we don't want them to grow up and have all of these negative traits about the world or feel like burdens or feel like everybody else is a burden, then we need to stop treating them like they are burdens. Children are not burdens. Children do not take away from the value of life. In fact, they enhance the value of life. Since having my son, I couldn't imagine what life would be like without him. I can't even remember what life was like before him. He, he has enhanced my life in so many ways that I didn't even know were possible. I didn't even know a small human being could bring me so much joy. And I've heard so many mothers talk about it before I had him. I've read so many books on it, but I didn't feel that experience until I knew I was pregnant with him and I knew that this was my purpose. I am here to bring life into the world and that has brought me so much joy and so much purpose. And when he was born, a new and a better me was born. So all of my mom friends watching, I challenge you to change the way you think if you find yourself wanting to complain about your children. If you follow a lot of mom humor accounts, I challenge you to unfollow them or mute them for the time being and see if that makes a difference on the way that you perceive real life. Because if you're getting these justifications that all moms feel this way or what you think are all moms that feel this way, then you're going to continue to think that way about your children. And I just don't feel like it's healthy because I don't believe all moms think that way. I don't believe that it's acceptable to think that way. Stop and cherish your children. And instead of complaining that you don't have 10 minutes to sit down and 10 minutes to yourself. Instead, sit down with your child and actually interact with them. I'm not talking about sitting with your child for 10 minutes while you're scrolling through social media or watching Netflix in the background. 
I'm talking about actively sitting there, listening to them, seeing what they're looking at, play with them, every single moment, good and bad. Cherish every poopy diaper, cherish every screaming fit, cherish every spit up, cherish every shirt that you have to change that if you're a new mom, you have a lot of spit up shirt, you have a lot of spit up marks on your shirt and you might have to change your shirt five times. Ch cherish that. And of course, cherish all the good things. Every smile, every giggle, every first, every new moment of learning and exploring, every new toy they play with, every new book, every new word they learn. Cherish every single thing. And don't blink because before you know it, they will be teenagers and they will be driving off with their friends and you'll look back and wish that you had held them a little longer, complained a little less, read them just one more book and cherished every single bittersweet moment that comes with motherhood. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is one of my favorite mom topics to talk about. Moms, you are amazing. You have so much purpose. There is always room for self-improvement and new moms or future moms, don't listen to the memes. Don't listen to the rude strangers. You've got this, okay? You've got this. You have the best job in the world, bringing life into the world, raising children. So please remember that we are literally raising the future. Please do it with dignity and grace and treat your children the way that you want to be treated. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe, and share. So I am off to go and make some lunch. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.